Hello there, I'm another Magento dev and in this video I'm going to be looking at putting a custom EAV attribute that you've maybe created like I did in one of my other tutorials which I'll just put a little link to there um, I added a custom field to uh, the account information here to an account number field um, and what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to get it onto the grid in this so this will teach you a lot of different disciplines because it works very similar whether you're doing uh, you know the order grid um, obviously this is customer grid product grid think things like well product grid obviously you, your EAV attributes are, are sort of inserted within the system within the admin but yeah any other grid there'll be other grids that I've, I can't think of but but those two grids so the principles are the same and what you're gonna find yourself editing predominantly which is slightly more unusual is a UI component you know it well that's the folder what it's called but you know the UI component folder and in that you have an XML and that's how that's how this works it's, it's pretty uh, straightforward to do so I'm gonna go to my module that I created which was this order field module um, and at the level of of view and then layout and then in, in your um, sorry view and then admin HTML on the same level as layout and templates is what I meant to say you're going to create another folder and it's going to be called UI component um, and in this folder we're going to create another um, XML file called customer underscore listing .xml. Hang on, just make sure I've got that right. Customer listing .xml. And then in this file, um, we're going to add our uh, template encode. I would have thought my um, extension would have given me some boilerplate there, you know, the, the wizard, but it hasn't. I'm not sure if that's because I've done something wrong in the naming of the path so I'm just going to check I don't think I have I think it just doesn't do it just doesn't do it right so how did I know that it was this file well I knew it was this file because I've done it before but how would I know if I didn't know that it was this file name that it was putting in there I've showed you techniques before and been able to find what XML file goes in layout but how do I find one for UI component well most of them have a little have a field have a, a like a, a columns name in there in these ones and this one has one in the customer the custom one if you search for customer columns and i think it might be yeah sales order columns so any that's the way i would find it anyway so if i wanted to edit the sales order grid it's it's sales order columns order columns so so i just knew it was obviously the entity that you're trying to edit customer sales order um invoice whatever it is whatever the grid is search for that underscore columns and it's likely to give you a hit um also the, another way you could find it is by looking in the module itself so this was in the customer module, so module customer. Um, you can you can find it there, and also it's so obviously if you was looking in looking for the one for sales, maybe just to demo it. Like I'll, I'll show it now. I know I'm sort of going around the houses a bit, but if I go into module sales, anything that does have a grid has a folder um, called UI component, and then in there, obviously, then you can find it. I mean that's it. again like whether they've got like the columns um, name or they actually are called things very similar to um, to the layouts really so we've got like sales order sales invoice grid I think there's one for sales order grid uh, I mean there's loads in sales orders I've picked a bad one there but um, there we go sales order grid XML has the um, well it has the fallback in there but it has the sales order grid block and then you can sort of you can find basically you have to do a bit of detective work you can find clues is what I'm saying but my sort of go-to method the first thing I try is looking for 
like something underscore columns and normally the entity that I'm trying to edit underscore columns um, and it gives me some gives me some hits and it, it gives me some hints here about what my you know XML is gonna look like so I can I can sort of agree that it's gonna start with probably probably this type of thing and then I'm gonna build it from here so I'll go for listing first um, uh, and then there's also what would be next what would be next? What would it go next? I don't need settings. Listing toolbar maybe. Listing top because that's where the listing is. Um, and by listing, I mean this here. Um, I want to. I want to sort of put it in. I want to reference that, so I'll. I'll. I want that in there as well. Um, to be honest, I always use that, and I don't know what it'd do if um, if it didn't have that. In, but I suppose. We don't need to find out because I know it works. Um, and then, then it's a case of just adding the adding the columns in, um, and it would be um, well you're starting with. If you look at one of these here, look columns, and then in here you should have column, and that's like for the entity ID. So that's the um, the customer ID. There's the name there. So basically, what you, what I'm deriving from this is that I need to have columns column as my like so so columns sorry I'm not explaining that too well but columns was where I sort of searched from wasn't it you know that's my customer columns is where it's that's like my parent um, class or whatever you would call it Columns, um, there we go, and then in that I want to be adding my column, and then inside columns, with most of these anyway, you can have. Let's see if we can find one. You can have arguments within your columns. You can't find any in there, but you can. Maybe that's just for custom ones, uh, for custom entity, area entities. That's strange. Um, but anyway, the way I structure it is this: so a column, and then I have my column, and then on this, I need my class. Um, well, I need my, um, my my name of my attribute, um, and I'm sure it was sd underscore account. I just need to check. In my block, yeah, SD underscore account is what I called it, but obviously, it can be any custom field if you've not watched the other tutorial and you're just picking this one up. Um, so, I'd go for my account name first, and then what I was going to say is, I need my I need my class, um, I need the class of what I'm gonna. So, right, I'm getting ahead of myself, right? We'll leave it at that for a second, and now I need to create another. Um, like a, a, another 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 you I need to create a UI folder and a, and a, a, I was going to call it a block but it, it's sort of not a block um it's a I don't know what to call it it's a UI it's a <laughs> it's a bit of UI is what I'm creating um I don't know what the word but it, put whack it into the com com uh, comments please if you know what this this is called like you would add a block like I don't know what this is called. Um, you know, the UI component, um, and this is what's basically going to give me my my ver my variable uh, component listing columns, and then uh, in there I have something like my um, could be anything really count number. PHP for my class, yeah, lovely, and then um, yeah, in there. So so basically, I'm getting an object manager in instance. I'm I'm like prepared. So there's a few things that you're doing here. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna paste some stuff in again like I normally do. And I'm just gonna talk through it because um, otherwise it'll take me ages. So what we're getting we're getting 
UI component context uh, interface. Obviously, you can Google this or search for it. Don't Google it, um, and you can have a look at why this is the case. But you're always including these three. Um, these three, uh, in you're injecting these three things, um, and then you want it to count number extend column. Um, and then you want to construct as the following there. So bring in the the, 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 the um, interfaces that that are required for for this job. Um, also, we've got a, an extra. Just that's that's extra. That's unusual. Like if you're writing a block, you won't need that. Um, well, for basic functionality, so so we've got a components uh, array as well as a data array, um, and then uh, we've just got our just got our var our variables in the in the parent constructor, um, which is dead, dead simple. And then this is the important important part of this, or this is the thing that does the work anyway. After after all the interfaces have been injected, and we've got um, so what we're doing here is we're going to object manager. We're going to model customer, and then we're loading. We're basically loading the customer by the entity ID, um, and then in the item. So this is the the column name. So we're going to call it. You know the column. This is the column name, and this is the customer data for the. Um, and this is the data that's going there for. Um, for the account number. So we'll just save that. And now this is where I was talking about the class. So this is the class here, and it's the one we've just created, which would be um, here. And then I can't put that. This is my class. Um, right, so that's the class, and then we'd have. Um, the column inside that, um, yeah. We'd have, so that's got sorry the argument. Then we'd have the arguments inside that, and these are all the sort of these are the things that I want to use. So I want basically this is where you tell it what that field can do in the grid. So copilot, it's a genius in it. No, it's not. Right, and never going to replace a human. So, I'll, I'll, yeah, filter, editor, so I'm saying config is filter, editor, and then I'm also saying that I want to use sort order, um, and then I can tell it in here what label I want it to be as well. Um, no, 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 cut that out. Um, uh, label. Well, eh, look at that. It's quite cool. Gets there in the end, doesn't it? Oh, lost it. There we go. There we go. Well, that's quite good. So, Copilot, one all, isn't it? One all Copilot. So yeah. So that's that's pretty much all we're going to need. Um, I'll just do a quick cash flush because I'm I'm not sure if I've got them switched off. Quick cash flush. And then let's have a look if we do a refresh. Wait for it to burst. Wait for it to burst. Wait for it, look out. <laughs> I knew it was invalid. Knew it was invalid. Ah. It was not the file path. It's not the reason why I knew it was invalid. It's um, yeah, yeah. Look at that. I've not ended my array of items. I'll just make that more visible for you. Look, that's what I needed to end. I had a feeling it was invalid. I had just a little. I had a little intuition. I shouldn't have refreshed because that will look silly. Still invalid. Even sillier. 
Um, Wan Nancy. Listening to all that. Um, what am I wrong there? Column. Columns. Oh, I've not. Um, it's good when I get things wrong. It's good because everyone learns more, including me. Um, argument. Because these are arguments. Right. Now, third time look here. What? Ending tag of listening toolbar. No. This is painful. Um, opening, ending, columns, line 10, and cop. Oh. I blame my dyslexia, but it's not, it's my attention. Um, and I bet everyone saw that, and it's always the case. Yay. Count number, it's working. So, I mean, obviously there was no need for all them errors. Um, it was me being crap, really. No other way for it. But yeah, that, that's showing that in the grid. Um, and you can, if you feel like you, you know, you want to switch it on and off, we can do, because we're, um, let's just test that out. So I won't show on this. I won't show on this. Filter, is it filter or is it? One sec. I don't, I don't know enough. Filter will be filter. Nah, don't know what that is then. I always use it, and 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 I honestly don't know why, but it doesn't seem to be hurting anything. Anyway, that's how we do it. Um, like I say, similar principle whether you're doing customer, anything in sales, orders, invoices, shipping, the one, the one we're shipping this one. Um, shipments that's the one um, anything with with a grid really um, other than obviously products because you can you can control that within the admin um, yeah great stuff okay that was a roller coaster of a ride wasn't it and uh, take care uh, if you like this content please give it a subscribe uh, please subscribe to the channel give it a like and obviously comments are welcome about anything Ban comments on there, I'd love it.